Renault Colios Generation 1, 2008 to 2013. Renault Colios is a new car model launched by the French manufacturer Renault in 2008, being entirely based on a car concept unveiled at the 2006 edition of the Paris Auto Show. In fact, the first concept came out in 2000 at the Geneva Car Show, but the production model only arrived in 2008. More importantly, the car was entirely designed by Renault, developed by Nissan, but manufactured by Renault, Samsung Motors in Busan, South Korea. The vehicle came with a choice of two engines, a 2-litre DCI and a 2.5-litre, developing 150 and 170 horsepower, respectively. The Colios only had a 6-speed manual transmission with no automatic option as yet. Generation 1, the refresh from 2013 to 2016. The Renault Colios returned in 2011 with a revised styling, more fuel-efficient engines, and offered a truly first-class equipment package for its price. The front end received a new grille, headlights and a bumper with similar things happening at the rear end. New paint options and rims were part of the change while the interior got a new R-Link multimedia system, blind spot warning and a reverse camera. New materials such as satin finish trim were added for a more upscale feeling. Second generation, Colios 2017. The French manufacturer revealed its new generation of the D-segment SUV Colios in 2016 in China. In keeping with the Renault design strategy introduced by Laurence van der Neyke, the new Colios is covered by a so-called design pillar, Explore, which stands for robustness and a taste for adventure. And now, ladies and gentlemen, introducing the all-new Renault Colios. Do you think it's got what it takes to challenge the likes of the Toyota RAV4, the Mazda CX-5 or the Honda CR-V? Let's find out. So after that brilliant introduction of the colors, it's time to test the real deal. Ladies and gentlemen, to Dion Kazu, Big Boy Trev, we sampled the brand new Renault Colors, second generation. The French ain't playing. And of course, as you know, the French have flair, they have style, they have design. And of course, they love their products. And starting with this particular design, it's done by a guy called Lawrence van der Acker. I think he's Dutch. Now, the Dutch have very good architecture norms that have infused this French design, making it one of the best looking crossovers in the market. Let's take a look at the V motive design, as you can see. So, the lights are infused with the grill together, giving that V motive design. And of course, the highlight being this big badge, the diamond badge of Renault. Remember, Renault stands for heritage, history, and of course, durable vehicles. Speaking of that, the grill, as you can see, it's like a grill with uh, some trim which looks like chrome. And obviously some black excerpts that match the headlights. Give this car style, you know. Je ne sais quoi, that's what you need actually. And then also you look at the headlights as well. LED standard on this particular model. And of course you do have the LED, standard LED, the eight time lights that go across the bumper. You'll see it on the Megane, you'll see it on the Clio, you'll see it on different models of Renault. Of course, Renault trying to make sure that they remain the top of the patch as one of the best European designed vehicles ever done. Moving over to the side profile, as you can see, you do have a clamshell bonnet and of course the, the dimensions, you know, it's not too overly done. You have a curvaceous body design, noting performance and power. Then you do have a lip here, as you can see on the door, just to give this car that off-road appeal. And obviously at the back, where the matters become very dicey, you do have LED design lights that roll across the whole tailgate, giving this car some stats. When you're just driving behind it and you look at this car, you say, wow, that is a French vehicle and that's a Renault Colios. A seal, you can see the emblazoned name Colios and of course the Renault Diamond Badge. That's it, folks. Design-wise, we know it's an amazing vehicle, but we want to find out how the cabin is. Is it as stylish? Do you reckon this particular car is better than a CX-5? Let us know, see that social media notes below and we'll get back to you next week. Now let's step inside and see what the cabin is all about. So step inside the luxurious cabin of this particular car and I can tell you the French are not only known for their cuisine but also their taste in style and class. Let's look at the center console. As you can see, there's a large tablet style that looks sort of like a Tesla and I can tell you it just gives this car a different visual appeal even the Volvo XC90 has this particular type of tablet it houses the climate control the radio functionality Bluetooth streaming and of course Mirigi who's a resident expert and it comes to digital matters will give us a lowdown on how this system actually works 
Now moving over to the instrument being called, it's fully digital and corresponds with the mood lighting. This car has mood lighting all strewn across the cabin from the exits over here, over here, and obviously on the speedometer dial. So if you're feeling eco, it goes green. If you're feeling blue as well, if you feel red and you feel sporty, you can actually toggle the settings using these settings on the steering wheel or the center console to change and match your mood and feeling. Do you think the cabin of this Colios is similar or better to the Mazda CX-5? Let us know on the social media handles below. Now moving over to the gearbox panel as you can see here it's finished with the piano black finish giving it a uh, more premium look and feel and obviously there's a stainless steel except around the gearbox which is a traditional gate shift gearbox with an electronic pack brake no longer are these cars coming with the traditional handbrake where you used to do handbrake turns like the previous colliers now this is traditional handbrake it's now electronic and of course you do have cruise control settings right below it and obviously you have plenty of cabules and spaces then obviously on the center console you do have a deep uh, pocket where you can actually store your valuables and then it's cooled as well the seats my guy let me tell you the seats are amazing well sculpted very comfortable perforated heated and cooled it's time for me to hand over the reins to mr Mirigi, who's a digital expert it's gonna give us a much more detail about this r link design system and of course the seating capacity the flexibility at the back and of course the boot stay tuned cars with big boy Trev. you are presented with an incredible set up inside here. The French did not come to play when it comes to this. You have a digital display in the middle here and buttons on the side to control the digital display itself. In the middle here, we have an 8.7 inch tablet display with the R-Link system. Now this system is actually a very beautiful looking system, but it's also very practical. You have Android Auto, Apple CarPlay, one of the key things you look at in a system like this is the maps, and this actually has native maps in the system itself. So in addition to Android Auto and Apple CarPlay, you actually have maps within the system itself, allows you to now set up your navigation. But let's check into the back and see what it has to offer in terms of convenience and comfort. Coming around to the back of the Renault Colios, and the first thing I have to say is that it is really, really spacious. This is based on the Nissan X-Trail, which is actually a seven-seater, but for the Renault Colios, they've decided to make it a five-seater and given the back seat all of that space. This seat is set to my driving position. I am five foot nine, and just look at how much space I have in front here. It's a fantastic place for my knees, my, my feet. It's, there's too much space over here. It's actually really spectacular. You can probably do social distancing in this car. It's that big. Now, the seats themselves are fantastic. They're these great leather seats. Uh, the transmission tunnel is actually not that big, so you can sit three adults across really well. In terms of power, you actually have two USBs and a 12 volt socket, meaning that every passenger on the back seat can charge their device independently of each other. So your kids are not going to be fighting each other to charge their devices. The air conditioning also has vents at the back to make sure that you're kept cool. Not as cool as the guys in the front with the heated and cooled seats, but cool enough to make sure that you're okay on a long trip. In terms of space, there's a lot of space to put stuff. You have these nets at the back here. The door beams are actually pretty big. And there's a very nice and very comfortable armrest over here that has enough space for one or two drinks to keep them secure when you're on the move. Let's check out the boot to see how much space the Renault Colliers has to offer. Coming round to the boot of the Colliers, and we have a power tailgate that opens to reveal a large, very usable space with a low lead seal. About 438 liters of capacity, making it just at the same level as most other of the cars in this segment. Under here, we have a full-size spare tire, which you don't see a lot nowadays, and the subwoofer for the Bose 12 speaker surround sound system. We also have loads of small storage areas to put smaller things, tie-down points, and a 12-volt socket to power any electricals that you need. So guys, it's a beautiful day and I'm driving the Renault Colios. Now, as you know, the Renault Colios is based on the CMFD platform. It's part of the Renault Nissan Alliance. And I can tell you for a fact that actually this car actually feels exactly like a Nissan x but of course, with a little bit of French je ne sais quoi. Now, let's talk about performance because everybody is actually keen on that. Now, up front, you do have a 2.5 liter petrol engine that produces 126 kilowatts and 226 newton meters of torque and five cent to the four wheels courtesy of an eight speed cvt transmission which you know that i don't like but because it's got sport mode and everything else you're gonna try so there we go dropping 
seven gear six five four three two and it pulls and pulls next gear again and again so it accelerates from zero to 100 in about 8.9 seconds and of course top speed of about 210 kilometers an hour that is standard regulation for such a car again i normally say performance goes hand in hand with how the power is distributed and obviously the the eight speed cvt transmission does its part to ensure that this particular car returns a good fuel consumption figure of roughly about uh about 10 kilometers to the liter which is not too bad for 2.5 liter now in terms of handling the steering of course it's an electrically powered steering wheel and of course the feeling is it's 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 you know it's direct but you know it's artificial however the suspension geometry is fantastic but person struts which have long stroke for you to have good planting power up front and at the back you have a multi-link rear suspension that allows you to enjoy this particular car in certain curves it has the extronic cvt transmission that is also found on the nissan next year so it allows you to redistribute torque at any given time and as well as give you that performance that you so desire off-road heel descent control as standard and of course you do have heel ascent control now safety wise five star set safety rating you have a mixture of active and passive safety features active features include blind spot assist abs electronic stability control and of course you do have quite a number of items and if all hell breaks loose and the Grand Reaper wants you to go to heaven or hell, then you can rely on the multiple airbags that are strewn across the cabin and of course the safety cell that allows and dissipates impact energy away from the cabin, keeping you safe from harm's way. So we've just seen how the Colios behaves on road it's got good manners and now we're just trying to sample if it can handle the bundu bashing i told you as i told you before it's not a proper 4x4 but it can go you know maram you know get off the beaten track and at least uh, show its uh, prowess using its four wheel drive system now the four wheel drive system actually is called extronic it's borrowed from the nissan family now it is 33 percent stiffer than the previous generation and obviously gives you ability to go off-road which is very very important now what Renault have done actually is to put uh, McPherson struts and rear multi-link suspension just to keep this car steady off-road and of course with the, with the rough road package that is now suitable for Africa, you're able to enjoy a long stroke suspension movement, making sure the passengers are very comfortable obviously when they are on such a surface, a maram surface. Now let's talk about the Xtronic four-wheel drive system that is in this particular car. Xtronic basically controls the amount of traction that is being sent through the front wheels and the rear wheels uh, through a computer guided system that has sensors across including wheel sensors steering angle and so much more so if it detects slip then the system will automatically shift the power from the front to the rear axle because predominantly this particular car is front wheel drive it has 80 percent uh, power when you're in two-wheel drive mode and when you switch on to four-wheel drive or it senses that then you're able to transfer up to 50 50 up to 60 40 on acceleration and depending on the type of uh, weather now guys it's time it's time to go and do the value for money proposition do you reckon this particular car is better than the rivals who are the rivals total rav4 honda crv the hyundai santa fe and many others in this category would you pick this particular car join me regain i as we do the value for money proposition on cars with big boy trev so guys, you've seen what the Renault Colos is all about. It's got style, performance, practicality, and of course the je ne sais quoi, the Frenchiness that we all design in terms of design. But Mr. Mirigi, who are the key rivals of the Colos? Looking at this segment, of course, now mid-size SUV, you're looking at the Mazda CX-5, the Honda CR-V, the Hyundai Santa Fe, and its cousin, the Nissan X-Trail. How much is it? Prices for the Colios are starting at 5 million shillings, which I think is very aggressive. It's also coming with a three-year, 100,000 kilometer warranty. Now, uh, where can we get it, this car, if I wanted one? Well, it's available at Caetano. They're the dealers for Renault right now. They are located along Mombasa Road at the Crater Complex, just past Next Gen on Mombasa Road. Well, guys, you've seen what the Colors is all about. Are you convinced that it is the right SUV for you? Let us know, as seen on the social media notes below, if this car is better than the CX-5, the Honda, and, of course, the Hyundai Santa Fe. Well, that's it. Thank you so much for joining us on Cars with Big Boy Trev. As always, it's an honor. If you have any questions, comments, or queries, don't hesitate to holler at us. As seen on the social media notes below, we'll get back to you next week. Signing off, this is Big Boy Trev. This is Mirigi. Drive safe. And be safe. <laughs>